In this walkthrough, we will learn how to easily fill an HTML email template in Power Automate. In our example flow, we will add the filled out template directly to an email message body and send it out ourselves. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We will start by creating a manually triggered instant cloud flow. This option allows us to control our inputs and test our flow actions more easily than we can in automated flows. On the flow diagram page, we will first create inputs to replace placeholder strings in our HTML email template. We can do that by clicking on the manual trigger action and selecting add an input. My example HTML template only has one string to replace and it's the email recipient's name. So I'm adding a text input labeled recipient name to my manual trigger step. Right after that, we will add a get file content action to our flow to retrieve our HTML template contents. I will be grabbing my file from a OneDrive folder. With our template file ready to go, we will now add another action to our flow, and this time we will search for Cloudmersive connectors. We will scroll down the list of available connectors until we find the file processing connector with the purple logo. We will click See More to view the actions list. And from here, we will search for an action called Replace a string in text with another string value. After we select this action, it's time to create our connection with a Cloudmersive API key. We can get an API key for free by visiting the Cloudmersive website and setting up a free account. This will give us a limit of 800 API calls per month with zero commitments. We will now click Show All to view our request parameters. We will first enter file content from our Get File Content step into the Text Content parameter. After that, we will enter the target string we're replacing in our HTML email template document. The placeholder in my document is the word name enclosed in brackets. We will then replace our placeholder string with the dynamic content we created in our trigger step. If we want to replace more than one placeholder string in our flow, we can simply add this action into our flow again and use output content from the initial text replacement step. Now that we've successfully filled out our template, we will add one final action to our flow that sends the template to ourselves in an email. I will be using the Outlook Send an Email action in my flow. After we've added in our own email address and included a subject, we will add dynamic content labeled Body Text Content Result to our email message body. Outlook will automatically interpret the HTML string in the message body and display it correctly in our inbox. To see our flow in action, we will now save and test our flow with an example input. When our flow finishes running, we will find an email containing the custom filled HTML template in our inbox. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions about using Cloudmersive APIs in your Power Automate flows, please feel free to reach out to any member of our team.